All right, Susan, it's Chris Reagan here. I thought I would shoot a video rather than shoot a big or, or type out a big um, Facebook page. And first off, let me say I'm, I'm going to post this video to Facebook to uh, Seth's group. And so I, I want to put a disclaimer in there that uh, if Seth, if you watch this and you want me to do this a different way, let me know and um, make sure you are watching what Seth puts out because he does this regularly and I'm, I'm probably not going to. But I'm going to touch on some things that he didn't have time to touch on and I'm going to start it with the website. So one of the things, Susan, and I, you know anybody else who's watching this I think should try and take away from it is we need to start thinking about the business of accounting being sold like a product. If you continue to try and sell it like a service, it's going to be more and more difficult. And the reason is everything has been, uh, for lack of a better word, productized. And we look at software, we look at um, tools, we look at almost everything in our lives in ways where we think we might be able to do it on our own. And business owners are, are much the same way. So services are not nearly as interesting to them as a product that they, can, that they can purchase themselves. Now that product may be in the background a service that you are doing, but it's still a product. And they want to be able to buy it right now and buy it on their own. I, I don't know how else to say it, but I can tell you that whenever I went from taking on maybe a client every three months to five clients a week. It was because I turned my service into a product. Now when I'm on this website, one of the issues for me is I love the way that it's laid out. I mean, having the picture and, and uh, whenever I come here, it looks very clean. So I'm very excited about that. And what I do is I say, sum it up, Inc., okay, <clears throat> give me something where I know you understand my pain. I'm the business owner right now, okay? We're selling to business owners. I'm not talking about selling individual tax services or something like that, and I'm, I'm talking about business owners. I'm on your website, what pain are you solving for me right here? And so I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm, okay, I see it, your name and your specialist in, in accounting, okay, that, that's good, I don't know, if that's exactly what I need right now, I know I have a pain. I have a pain of my books are all messed up, or I have a, a pain that I, I don't know what I'm gonna pay in taxes, or I'm very scared about taxes. I'm very scared that I don't know how to collect money from this um, client or customer that I'm about to sign tomorrow, or is gonna come into my office tomorrow. So these are my fears. And as I search down through here, I see, I evaluate, analyze, recommend, implement, train, plan, support. I can tell you are ready to serve people. But by the time I get to services offered here, what if, what if I don't know that this is what I want? And kind of where I'm going with this is, you've got to have a, something right off the bat where you're saying to them, I know exactly what you're going through. And so the first thing I'm going to recommend is that you decide who you're going to serve. Who is it? And in a previous post on Facebook that kind of, you know, spurred on this, this video here, you had spoken about, uh, I think, real estate services and real estate agents. So one of the things I'd love to see here is, yes, you can have it on here, but then something that says, I specialize in, and pick three things that you are a specialist in. And I know no one wants to necessarily put themselves in a corner. It, they can be a little bit broad. But when you put, let's say, let's say you did, or you specialize in real estate um, professionals, uh, dentists, and uh, restaurants. I know that's kind of random, but let's say that's what it was. I'd love to see those three things right here, move this philosophy piece down, and then each of those things are clickable to where you're going to take me specifically to a page where I can read all about the things you do for real estate folks, or I can read all about the things that you do for 
uh, restaurants. And my point being right away here, this is what they call the fold right here, um, right here at the bottom of your of your page. And if I were to show you, there's a there's a really cool piece of technology out there uh, called Crazy Egg. I know it's a weird uh, sounding title, but it will show you where on your website people are going over time and how much traffic you're getting to it. Most traffic never gets below this fold right here because you've got to catch them with something right up here. So I don't know that you need this huge picture right here, but I have something like that on my website because I think it looks cool. And I think people will give you, you know, maybe, maybe that to catch them, to really bring them in. What do you do? So that's one of the first suggestions I'd make. The second is once you go into those three, into those three um, different niches or four, I'm a huge proponent of this. A lot of people don't get it, but I'm going to keep banging the drum. You got to have pricing. I've got to be able to make a decision about your service. And I use my website um, sometimes whenever I'm doing presenting or, or, or talking about this. Let me just bring it up real quick. My website is not perfect. See, very similar. Look at the, I mean, if we really look at the fold here, nothing on my website is necessarily drawing them into to, um, to, to the bottom of the page either. Except there's one thing, the most trafficked, the most trafficked piece on this website here is this right here, learn more. And when you click on it, I'm sending you down to business owner packages because I want you to see the different services we provide. But up here, I've also got a video and right here, in case people didn't know to learn more, I'm kind of hitting what we actually do. Uh, like I said, I am not, my website is not perfect, but what I do have later on is all of my package pricing. And I think this is a huge piece that could set you apart just getting this website ready, right? Could set you apart to where people can convert on the website. Because here's the next piece of what I wanted to talk about. If, if I search, I, my firm is in Bonita Springs. And if I search Bonita Springs accountant, okay, Here I am right here. I'm number one in my area. You have to be number one or at least on the first page of your area. And there's, there's lots of ways to get, to get this done, but it's through SEO. I just wanted to say the reason this website is so important to get right is because once you start driving traffic at this, whether we do Facebook ads, whether we do uh, SEO, whether we do paid ads, anything, if you can't convert them when they get here, it's all a huge waste. Accountants, we have this idea that people just want to see uh, information about us and our credentials, and then they're just going to pick up the phone and call. But I can tell you that if, if, and this goes for any accountant out there, frankly, if you've got a website that doesn't tell me how much you cost, what you're going to do for me, how it's going to work. I mean, on Reagan Financial, we talk a lot about you know technology. We've got Tax Planner Pro on here, Pro Hub, which is our um, our client portal. We talk a lot about these things. If you, but at the end of the day, I'm trying to get them to select a package. So when they select a package here, let's say they select the Elite package, they can actually sign up, choose a package, and submit, and they actually get to sign up for the package. And in the in the Facebook piece that uh, we were talking about, the, the question you had asked was, well, what do I put in my ads that gets them excited? You're not going to put anything in the ads that, that that's going to be terribly meaningful because it's going to be SEO or a short Facebook ad or something like that. It's when they get here. It's when they get to this actual page, it's got to reel them in. And the only way to reel them in is to show them that you're talking about something that's for that's for them. So t think about the, the niche uh, idea and that you've got pages that drill down and then special pricing for real estate folks. So you've got packages that uh, maybe three different packages just for real estate folks. I don't care how you package it, but show them that they can buy it right there. 
The same for retail outfits. Show them that they can buy it right there. Then we can start driving you know, traffic at this site. But until this thing's like really ready to convert, it's gonna be kind of a waste to, to drive a lot of traffic. Now, I can show you what eventually happens, and this is, you know, I'll go into, into Facebook here for a second. And this is my Facebook page, and I'll come into Ads Manager here real quick. So, one of the one of the ways to drive um, to drive traffic is Facebook, and accountants should be thinking about Facebook. Now, yesterday, literally yesterday, I started a, a separate campaign that's a lead generation campaign, playing with something called the forms advertising inside Facebook, and. What it does is it allows you to advertise to folks, they click on the ad, they have to fill out a form before they get uh, whatever uh, carrot you're giving them. In this case, it's an ebook that I'm giving away. And so you'd need an ebook, but I, I didn't really want to show you these two because they've, they've been going on for maybe two days and haven't converted much. Here's the one I want to show you. This is, this is a, a high converting um, ad that's only run for about a month. And as you can see here, I paid about 10 cents per conversion. So I paid $59 for the month and I got 584 people to convert, which was clicking on a, a lead page that I had to where I could send them more information they got on my, on my mailing list. So there's, there's ways to generate that traffic at your site. And people, accountants will get really excited and say, Chris, you got to show me that. Show me that right now. And I'm saying, don't. You first got to figure out, turn off Facebook, turn off advertising. You first got to come back to this guy and say, is this going to convert someone into a client? I love the idea of a giveaway. So at Reagan Financial, we're kind of not trying to, to bring on a lot, of, a lot more clients during tax season right now. So I don't have some things on my website turned on. But I'll use Tax Planner Pro as an example because we're, we're bringing on people left and right with, with Tax Planner Pro. Hold on, let me go to the accountants page and I'll show you something. So this is an area of our accountants page that shows um, an ebook that we're giving away. Okay, Now, this has been clicked uh, several times. You, you can download it without signing uh, up for something. And that's because I'm just trying to get some feedback on the, on the book. But you could do something like this on your website to really track the kind of interaction you're getting on your website, right? So not only do you put the pricing and the niches and the ways that they can sign up right there online, but you're also going to give them ways to get on an email list where you can drip content to them. And I know everybody's super busy. You gotta, you, you gotta think through this. How am I gonna drip content on them if, they, if, if I give them an ebook? How am I gonna write my own ebook? As you can see, this takes a, a lot of effort. And if you're not ready to give the effort, don't, you know, don't start spending money on Facebook ads because what you're gonna get is just a lot of people bouncing off your website and you're gonna be spending a lot of money to do it. But this is a great way, if you had an ebook, and I've, I've got some that I, use, um, that I use for small business owners. One of them is called um, uh, The Three Audit Gateways. And it's about uh, three different things on tax returns that can trigger audits a lot. And it's not long. It's like five or six pages. But that book, whenever I put it back on the Reagan Financial site, which I'll do probably you know, right after tax season ends when we're ready to really take on some heavy new traffic, I'll put that, I'll move this line up to where this all condenses a little bit, and I'll take this little area right here, and I will make that... Uh, dedicated to giving away an ebook or running a contest or doing uh, several things. You can run contests on Facebook too, which is great. But again, the point of this video was to come back and say, don't try and do any of that yet until you turn this into a cash register. And uh, I'll, I'll leave it there. I've, I mean, it's a four, I've rambled on here, but it's a 14 minute video. This is off the cuff. I didn't prepare anything for it, but I wanted to make the point it's time to make this something where if you got somebody who said, I'm ready to hire Susan Slayton right now, how do they do it? With, and it can't, be, it can't be coming over here and saying, let's chat. 
It cannot be that. Because this is scary. This is super scary. Because I'm going to enter this information. I have no idea if I can afford you. I have none. I have no idea if you're taking new clients right now. I have no idea if you take the kind of client that I am. You may judge me for being in a terrible, terrible accounting shape. All of this is what scares me about this. And I'm very reluctant to do it. I'd rather go get a referral from somebody than reach my hand up here. But if you told me, maybe in a video, maybe in a book, maybe in just text on the site, that you love people who have their books all messed up and their taxes all messed up and you're going to show them how to pay one dollar in tax every year and all these things that make people stand up and say yes yes i need this and then you give them a way to actually buy it because they see the pricing and they say oh my gosh this is gonna this is just for me i can't believe i found this i'm so excited that's what you're trying to do with this website so make those changes and if you do then we can start getting into the how do I actually send massive traffic at this thing? Because that is, believe it or not, a much easier, a much easier thing to do. To be number one or number three on Google in your hometown, very easy to do. If you want, if you want lots of traffic, very easy to do. Reagan Financial, this guy right here, when I turn all the stuff on, when I turn everything on, it probably gets 3,000 hits a month at this thing. So if you really want to turn it all up, that's possible. We know how to do that. But first, got to change this. Anyways, I'll uh, wrap it up here. <laughs> I hope it helps somebody. Uh, all the best.